carnivore and short bowel syndrome. Hi, I'm Len, and it's been a year now, in May, that I've been eating beef, pretty much a steak, some ground beef, every day. Today we're just making some beef patties. I'm not a complete carnivore because of the short bowel syndrome. What is it for me? For me, I'm missing some of my small intestine. Three occasions they went in there to take pieces out because of Crohn's disease. Chris has Crohn's disease. So I have maybe half. I've been trying to eat a lot more meat with the short bowel syndrome. It's not that easy because the more fat you eat, the more water falls go through you and it just makes it very difficult. I end up sitting on the toilet a lot. Why is it so difficult? So the pieces were taken out when I was around 13 years old in grade nine, around 19 or 20. And then again in 2010 when I was, I was 40. So I always thought I had to stay away from eating too much beef because it kept making me go to the bathroom. Now that I've been eating more and more meat, I feel like, I feel amazing. I used to live off mostly chicken. Bam, chicken sandwich. Every morning I had a Vitamix drink. I would put a handful of spinach with fruits and that would sort of slow everything down. What did that do? Give me a nice size kidney stone, I think. I think, possibly, you don't know for sure what causes what. I mean, you never know for sure, but spinach could do it, right? It did prevent all those trips to the toilet. But now I discovered beef. I have it every day. The days I miss it, my body's like craving it. I have a part solution for the short bowel syndrome. The main one is claristeramine. I've been taking it since the mid 90s, around then. That's when I first had it, which is a binding agent. It binds all the biles inside and mix it all solid instead of liquid. And it works amazing. This one is more grainy, the Olister one. Jamp is kind of e easier to drink. I use a straw so I don't get it in my teeth because you don't want to get in your teeth. So I get a small glass. I just broke a bowl. The bowl has been in my family for years. Okay, so I take the Claristeramine, I put it in a little bowl, and I find three scoops is almost, it's like three quarters of the pack. I put some water in it. I take my straw, plastic straw, Throw some bubbles in to mix it more. And then we chug it, you're not supposed to sip it. Still a little bit grainy, but not as bad as the oldester version. Still tastes like <laughs> Now I can eat beef and I won't have to run to the bathroom as much. So the part I'm missing is a small intestine right before the large, so in the middle. It's the ileum is the part that I'm missing. That's the part that's supposed to reabsorb all the biles back into the body so they don't go into the large intestine and out the body. So I've been drinking claristeramine for 25 years now and it just, it's a miracle. I don't know how bad it is for you. They say it doesn't get absorbed into the body so it's just inside your intestines, apparently. You can pretty much eat anything I want because of it. I'm eating lots of meat and the meat is great. Without the claristeramine, I end up on the toilet. I mean, I'm not doing pure carnivore because I'm still having a hard time with this bathroom thing and I find when I have a lot of fruits in the morning, it helps as a nice blockade also and I don't run to the bathroom. All right, let's cook this. The pan is getting hot. I put the smasher inside the beef tallow that's melted or else it just sticks like crazy. I'm right, gonna put the fan on. I'll just talk louder. Since I've been eating meat all the time, my ferritin level, which is the iron stores, has gone from 10 to 86 last time I checked. It's like amazing. Look at the smasher. They both have like aspartame. They're sugar-free, but they have aspartame in them. It tastes like already. Just leave it how it is and don't put more in it. Apparently there might be a sugar version. I know there used to be a sugar version. I rather have regular sugar than aspartame. The dunking this in fat ahead of time really helps. Also, if I eat only meat, I have like no gas. The gas was ridiculous after my last surgery in 2010. I guess I took more out. The more like fruits and breads I eat, like the sugar, the gas is just out of this world. So that's why I still eat other foods like bread and fruits, a lot of fruits still. I still sometimes have my fruit drink in the morning. So I find mixing it together helps it slow down, but I get lots of gas. All right, so today we're gonna have uh, the beef with a bun and tomatoes and some ketchup. Pretty good. Look what happened to this guy. There's a big hole in the bottom. And I got four spare burgers. These I'll probably eat just by themselves for like a snack later. How about strength? I'm so much stronger now that I'm eating all this meat. I can go biking so much easier now. I noticed how much stronger I was getting after only a few months of eating meat. One other thing I wanted to try was a psyllium husk instead of the claristeramide. I haven't tried it yet. I'm kind of scared to eat meat and just use this. I need a day that I know for sure I'm not doing anything. I can be at home and see what happens because it's good to be close to home base when you're trying something new like this because you don't know what's gonna happen. What if you're out and it's occupied Occupied? I don't just eat beef. I sometimes have some bacon. I'm making a whole pack of bacon here, ready to turn. So bacon has the same effect as the beef. Makes you run to the bathroom. I overcook some of them, but that's okay. A little overcooked, not bad. All right, so we have here is a burger with a little bit of ketchup 
and bacon and tomato. Yes, it's not really carnivore because I got all the other but maybe one day. I find the other stuff helps slow it down. I'm gonna try making carnivore bread. It's made with eggs, pork rinds, I'm not sure what else. Oh, and uh, ground chicken, chicken meat. And it's supposed to like come into like some kind of breadish substance. This meat is something else. But that's my carnivore-ish and short bowel syndrome journey so far.